Hi guys and welcome. I remember this. <laughs> Let's say the intro 10 times. Can I kill it? Oh, oh that's perfect. <laughs> that's my companion. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am back. It has been a minute. It occurred to me that when I sat down to record this video that this is the very first time that I have well, we'll have been re recording this type of a video um, for this channel. So I, in case you are new and uh, you are not, you don't know my channel or whatever, and you found this video somewhere on YouTube, um, I make video game uh, gameplays. Now, I have not been making videos here on YouTube. I think I went back since last this past April, so it's been like six months. This is probably the longest break that I have taken for YouTube. So basically today's video is going to be an update of what I have been doing, what is the future of my channel, where I'm going to be going with it, what's happening to it, whatever, um, and all that jazz. So... Let's just get into it. Why did I even stop making videos? Some of you might be questioning. Some of you that maybe don't watch me over on Twitch, which I'm gonna speak about in a minute. Um, maybe you just wondered, maybe you only watch YouTube and you wondered where is Jen that I subscribed to her? She stopped making videos. It's been a minute. Um, so back in April, my last video, I was making videos at that time. I think I was doing three times, one to three times a week. I, I had hopes that I could do three times a week um, and sometimes it might have only been one once a week video but I was basically making uh, gameplay videos on Creativerse, The Sims 3 I think I had just started and then I think I was doing also Forager which was at that time was a new game that had I had gotten off of uh, Key Mailer which if you don't know what Key Mailer is, I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, it basically is a site for streamers or content creators here on YouTube um, that can get free keys uh, to games, free key games. And so I had been offered, or I had, I can't remember now if I had applied or if I had been offered it, but I had gotten Forager free. And so I needed to either stream it or make content on YouTube. Um, and I have done both. I have streamed it a couple of times and I have made a couple of videos here on YouTube. So um, at that time in April, I had a full-time job pretty much designing props for a local theater company, um, a community theater. But this theater is pretty dang professional. It is a large, the house seats almost 800 people, which is a pretty good size for a community theater. Anyways, at that time I had landed a job as assisting the props designer and making props. Uh, it was eating up all my daytime hours. So Monday through Friday, basically, I was at the theater helping the props designer build the show's props. It was it was a paid job, so I needed to be there. Basically didn't have time to make YouTube videos or live stream. So both at that time, my live stream on Twitch became hit or miss. My, I definitely couldn't make YouTube videos because making, you guys might not know, but there's a lot that goes into creating a YouTube video. You may have heard this from other YouTubers. Um, I know I have, other people that I watch have said the same thing. It is so true. So you, it basically, for every hour to two hours of gameplay that I do, it's gonna take double that to edit it. So it takes a lot of time uh, of editing. At one point, I did a daily uh, videos. When I first started on YouTube, I made, I did a, day, a video every single day. Um, my editing skills back then were not the greatest. Um, they're a smidge better now, but um, yeah, it takes a while. So I had to make a decision which I wanted to do. I know I couldn't do both YouTube and Twitch, so I had to make a decision um, for what I was gonna do. And I chose Twitch just because it was less time constraint. It was easier just to go live and and play games and chat with you know the viewers and everything, um, which I love. The original thought was 
I was only going to be gone a month from YouTube. The original thought was I was going to come back making videos one to three times a week. Uh, the job that I was doing during the day uh, was only temporary. Um, it was originally thought that maybe it could go full full time permanent. Um, but then I learned that it was a contracted spot and that it would only be so long. So I thought, well, if it's a contracted spot and I'm not going to be, I'm going to have the summer free and potentially the fall, um, maybe I will go back. I could go back to making YouTube videos and a live stream. So that was the goal, always to come back, maybe take the month off because I knew by the end of May, the beginning of June, I would probably be, my time would be freed up and I would be able to resume full-time streaming and uh, YouTube videos and stuff. But <laughs> as the time went on, that it, it became clear that I really, really, I enjoyed live streaming. I don't, I, I don't want to say I enjoy it more than videos. It's just easier. Is live streaming for everybody? Maybe not. Um, is YouTube for everybody? Maybe not. Is it for me? I think it is. I really, really enjoy both. I decided I have to come back to YouTube. I started thinking about why. Why is it important for me to come back to making videos? If it's such a dedicated um, time, a, a big time commitment of editing videos and uploading at a certain time. You know, people want you to be regular. They expect if you're going to put out videos every day, they expect a daily video every day. I had to think real hard. Uh, since my time was coming with props to an end, what did I want to do? Did I want to just focus on Twitch or did I want to just focus on YouTube or do both? So at that time, I decided let's try getting a dedicated stream schedule. I knew I wanted to always stream. I knew that I wanted my Monday through Friday time that I used to spend on props to be with Twitch. Um, so I pretty much had set up myself a schedule Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I was going to be live streaming. Now, even though it was June now, I still had a show that I was committed to, um, not doing props, but stage managing with my husband, um, in the evenings. I could still live stream during the day, but... As far as doing YouTube videos in the evening or on the weekend, it was no, not going to happen because I had theater commitments. So I thought we're going to just establish the Twitch schedule. We're going to ponder if I really want to come back because at this time I'm like, maybe I don't want to do YouTube. So maybe I do want to just focus on Twitch. So my husband's telling me just focus on one thing. He's always said that from the beginning, just focused on one thing, one thing best. And so I was like, okay, let's focus on Twitch during the day. That's what I'm doing. I have always loved YouTube. I have always missed YouTube that I have been away. And like I said, this has been the longest break I've taken for, from YouTube. So I really, the past, I would say the past month, I've really, I keep telling people on my Twitch stream, people ask, oh, you have a YouTube channel? People that come on in there that are new. Um, yes, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you just upload your live streams. Because let's face it, a lot of Twitch streamers, when they say they have a YouTube channel, a lot of them are just reload, uploading their live streams from the night before. You have to wait 24 hours and then you're allowed to, uh, if you're affiliate, you're allowed to, or partnered, you are allowed to upload your videos to YouTube. And a lot of them, that's what they do. And that is totally fine. I am not saying that is, you know, bad or not. I'm saying that's totally fine. But I wanted to make it clear to people that my channel on YouTube is totally separate from my Twitch channel, but yet it's the same type of content, if that makes sense. Um, that I it's it versus whether you want to see it recorded and edited or if you want to watch it live stream. Now, everybody is different. Some people like both. Some people like one over the other. It's up to you. I happen to like both. I watch probably recently, I probably watch as much Twitch streamers when I'm not streaming as I do YouTube videos. 
I have them probably about equal at this point. At one point it was, I was watching a lot more Twitch streamers. I have a lot of, made a lot of friends on Twitch, which I love and adore. Um, but I recently, since I've been wanting to really come back to YouTube, I've been watching a lot more uh, YouTube um, gameplay videos and stuff, which I, it has helped solidify that yes, this is what I wanted to do. When I started, I originally started YouTube back in September of 2015. I am a very shy person. Now, a lot of you that watch my, come to my Twitch streams will probably disagree with me on that. I normally am a very shy person. Uh, so what got me into YouTube in the first place is that I have a nephew that used to do YouTube videos. At the time, I think, I want to say he was about 15. Uh, he was pretty young and he was making daily videos and I would watch them. And I thought this is, this is probably back in 2014, maybe um, 2013, 2014 or something. And I was like, this is amazing. This is great. So I started watching other YouTube videos at that point. I had watched a couple, but I never really got into YouTube. Um, and I so I started, I found a Sims 3 videos, uh, gameplays of a YouTuber, pretty big YouTuber I was watching at the time. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. I want to make, I want to do this. This looks like a fun. I have always been a gamer. I have uh, plim playing, whether you believe this or not, I've been playing video games since the late 70s to early 80s um, on the Atari. And I have since moved to PC and I've been playing games there pretty consistent. I'm a video game junkie. But anyways, I was like, this looks like fun. At the time, I didn't have a job. Um, and I was doing theater, but not probably as much. Um, as I currently am doing well now I'm currently on a break but anyways we'll get to that later so that's when I started making I think my first video here on YouTube was like the Sims I think it was the Sims 4 I think anyways it seems so long ago five years this is 2019 it's been five years already holy shit Basically, I started with The Sims um, for, for I was going to be a Sims content creator. Um, and then I thought, oh, Minecraft. I had been playing Minecraft for probably about a year, maybe a year and a half. My son had turned me on to that. And so I was like, oh, yeah, let's let's try some Minecraft gameplay. So I started recording that. Y'all, my editing skills back then were horrible. Absolute shit. They were bad. But everybody starts from someplace, right? So I just kept trucking along. I was making daily videos, uploading every single day. And um, I noticed things started to change with my personality. As far as speaking, um, my voice, you can go back and watch my old videos. There is such a dramatic change between that gen and what you're seeing right now. It, I mean, some things are still similar or still the same, but basically my voice has changed, I feel like, a lot. Like, you could clearly tell I was shy back then. It has helped my speaking. It has made me be more aware of what's coming out of my mouth. Um, much more clear in my words and speaking and pronouncing things. I still have trouble with words, guys. That's one of the main focuses over on my Twitch channel that people like to tease me about is I get words all mixed up at times, especially live. So if you like that kind of thing, if you've not seen my live streams and you like people who mess up and blunder and you should stop by because... It is over there. Anyway, um, so basically that's why I started YouTube was to help make me come out of my shell, help make a better me. I have always wanted to be the best version of myself. And I hope today in 2019 that I am uh, the best version of myself right now. By 2016, somebody had mentioned about live streaming. Somebody had said you should try Twitch. I was like, what the frick is Twitch? Even though I'm a gamer, I had no clue. So I went and investigated. Um, I think I think I watched like one person and I was like, hell no. Mm -mm. And I think it was a pretty big streamer actually. And I was like, no, mm -mm. that scared me off. I was not going to do that. 
I was terrified. You guys got to know that whenever I start anything new, I'm terrified. I don't like change. I don't like starting things new. So I get really stressed out about it. So I decided at that time in 2016, YouTube had come out with YouTube Gaming. Or I don't know if it had been out or if I just found it. But it was in 2016. So I started live streaming on YouTube. Now, live streaming on YouTube is a little different than on Twitch. Um, some good, some bad, I don't know. Uh, but it was a good point for me to kind of break into live streaming. For me, it was the stepping stone that I needed to get to Twitch. So I uh, started live streaming in 2016 on uh, here on YouTube. I believe it was Creativeverse I started with. I think I did some forest and whatnot, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So I um, really liked it. It was hard because you had to have this constant interaction with people and, uh, you know, keeping up with that. And then when nobody's chatting with you to keep talking, all that. Um, but I decided I do like it. So I started as live streaming and making videos on Twit or on YouTube here. And it was going fine. Then I had, by 2017, I had more and more people who watched my live streams on YouTube going, why are you not doing this on Twitch? You should be done Twitch. This is the, the wrong platform for you to be live streaming on. Now, I mean, I could have easily just stayed and, and just not listened to those people. But when I have multiple people telling me that I should be doing something, I should at least consider it, I feel like. Uh, so I went back to Twitch. I actually created an account and I started watching people. I found several streamers, some big, some medium, medium size, some smaller ones. And I was like, maybe I can do this. Maybe I, uh, you know, maybe I can do this. So I made the jump. I think I actually didn't start live streaming until 2018, last year. And I fell in love with live streaming on Twitch that, at that point. So that brings us back to the future of my YouTube channel. So what I'm doing is I'm going to still, don't worry, those of you that are coming from Twitch, I am going to still be live streaming Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. or sometimes longer. I am on a break, like I said earlier. I think I said earlier. Uh, I am on a break currently um, from theater. I have two and a half months, well now about two months off. So my plan is, my goal is to continue live streaming Monday through Friday, uh, 10 to 5. That's Eastern Standard Time, by the way. Um, and make Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. I think I, I'm pretty sure I can do this. Uh, some of you uh, might be concerned. Some of the, you that are my regulars over on Twitch um, may be concerned that it's a lot. But you guys, I don't start live streaming till 10. I get up at, every morning at 6 a.m. So I figure I have a couple of hours in the morning before I live stream. I have to get myself together anyway for the live stream. So um, why not see what I can knock out that couple of hours uh, before. If I can try and record through the week and edit on the weekend or edit as throughout whenever I can. Um, and I also will have the evenings through the week, most evenings through the week. I honestly think that I can do it. So we're going to try it. We're going to try uh, three times a week. And see where that goes. Um, I will probably never, ever be back to daily videos. I don't think that is possible. Daily videos is a lot. So my videos before were always just of the gameplay. I think I have only recorded a couple of videos where you get to see me and the game. Um, obviously on live stream you see me like this. This is... Hello. This is me. Um... So my future gameplays will always have me in it. I will no longer have where it's just my voice and the game. That, that was the old me. Uh, now, sorry, you get to see me with the video, the game. I apologize if you don't like that. If you don't like to see me, then goodbye. Because <laughs> that's what you're getting. Um, I do have plans of 
making videos of different content that I have on my Twitch streams. Right now on my streams, my live streams, I pretty much stream uh, a variety. I am a variety streamer. Those of you who don't know, uh, haven't been to my Twitch channel, you could go check that out, see Gen Game. Um, I am a variety streamer. I do Creativerse videos, those of you who uh, love Creativerse. I do stream Creativerse twice a week. Sometimes it's once, sometimes it's not at all. So it just varies. Like this month of October, I haven't streamed Creativerse that much. I have, but I haven't because I've been playing a lot of horror games. But uh, so I stream a lot of different games. There are certain games that I will not live stream. The Sims is one of them. I just feel like those are better as an edited video for me. I, I don't feel like I'm all that entertaining to play a simulation game like that. I think I have live streamed like once, maybe twice, The Sims 4. And it was me making my mods, my Twitch mods and streamer friends into The Sims. Um, which I do think I'm thinking about making a video about this, redoing it and making a series out of it. So if you are one of my streamer friends, you know who you are, um, and you're or a Twitch mod of mine, you should let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do a YouTube series on it because if I get enough people, I just might. But as of right now, I am thinking about redoing my Sims 3. I had just started back in April. I just started, I think I had like two or three episodes on The Sims 3, um, a legacy challenge. So I'm going to be reviving that. And I will definitely be having a creative, creative verse video. Um, I have created a new world that is spotlighting people, other players, blueprint builds. There are some fantastic fantastic builders out there that I would love to get recognition for because they are amazing and I think they should I think they should have their builds shown off because they are amazing but so I have that I also will make videos on creativeverse that could be something I build from scratch um but uh, and then another one would be I have also Forager that I wanted to get back into playing, which is one of the last videos that I did start making um, here on YouTube. Or yeah, here on YouTube. I'm gonna start getting these channels all mixed up, guys. It's a lot. That That is my plans. I am coming back. This will be the first video um, that you see for me coming back. It's the first time I've made a sit down video like this, guys. And don't forget, if you are subscribed to me, to click that little bell to get notified whenever a video goes up, I do appreciate it, guys. And um, also make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already followed me over there. Um, I do always tweet out when I'm about to go live or am live on Twitch or when a video is going up. And I also do tweet out uh, other random daily life things or whatever's going on in my life. I thank you guys. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.